Anyway, you find nothing. <sighs> the understicket is a waste of everyone's time. What is it, Tizo? Scrakri. Scrakri. A clue. Tizo, he found a he found a little hat that fits perfectly on his head. The little imp brings you a strip of bark. Though it does not seem unusual at first, until you notice a message carved into the one side. Bark you found strip. A it could mean something. Oh. Come to Cinderu. Yes. So it's some kind of message from the sandalwood guy? I just assumed it was yours. No. Seemed that way. Which way to cinder root? Cinder root. A brushed, uh, a hushed clearing south of the Glade of Lou. Who's Lou? Uh, Ferrigno? Probably one of the scribes. Oh, nice. Oh. <laughs> I, thought, I forgot about Luke Ferrigno. I wonder how he's doing. Is he dead? I. He's super dead, isn't he? I don't think he's dead, is he? Lou Ferrigno. I feel like he's not that old. Lou Ferrigno? I use my voice. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Lou Ferrigno. I feel like every time I name a celebrity, you just assume they're Lou dead. Lou Ferrigno. Just Google it with this, your fingers. This sucks. Okay, I just assume celebrities are all dead because if I don't know about them, aren't they dead? No. Lou well, I just gotta come back and be like, Lou Ferrigno he's has- 315 pounds? Yeah, he's fucking huge, dude. 69 years old. Yeah, he died, uh, 17,000 years ago. Oh, okay. And then he was reborn. Alright, it's ready for it to come back saying, like, Lou Ferrigno has spent the past 10 years doing charity work in, like, in South prison. Africa or some shit like oh, that. No. We went in two completely different directions. He's he's I been respect he's been cooking meals for underprivileged youth for ten straight years without stopping, and you <laughs> assumed he was dead. <laughs> well, I assumed Bill Cosby was dead a long time ago. And well, I, I mean, I he basically I is. Yeah. At this so, point. Uh, whoops. Anyway, let's Still play alive. the sports ball game. Yeah. It is due northwest. Perhaps we can set forth early tomorrow when the woods are still. Sounds good. Everyone, rest up. Big day coming up. Gonna meet the sandalwood oh, guy. Yes. Oh, yes. oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh um, yes! Um... Bing. So that's level up everybody, that's level up an individual. Let's see a person! Who's, uh, the I thought you just were gonna hit the mentor button right away, and I was like, okay. Ah. He believes in well-roundedness, fellas. Yes, I want everyone to be decent. That's fair. Fine then, let's check. No, I've got fucking got this mylar. It's your voice, you were just slow. You were just slow. I was so hating for you to stop it. You were too slow. slow. Fine. Then let us chat together for a spell, even though I just told you not to talk to me. <laughs> okay. You and Pamitha spend uh, some time reviewing uh, some sets of the rights, such as the properties of aura and semblance. You gain. Yes. You essentially gain something from it. Dust is my semblance. Yeah, dude. We're big ruby heads here. God, we remember when rem ruby tags in here? Remember when the ruby people ruby cared tag. about dust and then uh, just stopped caring about anyway? Mm -hmm. I literally time? I care about ruby so much because of how terrible it is. Yeah, it's awesome. It's deeply I, bad. I'm just like invested in how terrible it is. That's what that's the appeal right there. Yeah, it's it, and again like we watched some of uh, H Bomber guys video about Ruby. Not all He's of it, because it's like two and a half hours long, but he makes yeah. some excellent points about like, man, on paper this show sounds sick, but uh, they really do nothing with it. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> it's very yeah, true. Nothing. Every time there's an inkling of good, it just gets destroyed immediately by not good writing. Anyway, not to... Uh, 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 no, well, I'm just thinking about it. Tamitha? Just thinking about it. Soon I'll be catching up with you at this, whether you like it or not. Whether or not you like what? What's yep. next? <laughs> so now to read a bunch of skill tree shit that Brian arbitrarily picks one at random. Fuck. While flying, Pamela moves faster. That's well, just because of that, I'm choosing picks. this one. No, I'm just kidding. For five seconds after banishing an adversary, she moves thirty percent faster. He's it's gonna this pick one. that one. Yep. Oh, I didn't stop moving. <laughs> By that one, I meant the one on the left, and I indicated towards that, but then I realized that I'm not on camera. Kind of looks like Cher. Okay. Anyway, yeah. Yeah. You know, actually, yes. Normally, I'm just inclined to disagree with you, but in this case, yes. Oh, there's no one around. What if I get really drunk? 
I don't think anything happens. It look. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> there she's you with her bottle of moonshine. Drink up by all means, darling. Nice to find a girl after my own heart. Hmm. Oh. She moves in close and lowers her voice. Let me tell you a little secret. That bottle there. It's enchanted. Never oh, runs dry. Badass. Ever. Believe me, if it could, I would have known by now. That is pretty badass. Apparently it was some old, was some spurned old bog crone that once tried and tried to make a never-ending poison but kept failing utterly, till she threw away her life's work in disgust. I fetched a good price for it. Decided to take a swig one day while on the hunt for Tamitha. When things weren't going quite as well for me as they are now, you understand. Turns out that stuff is pretty good. Consider it for sharing, darling. Just everything in moderation and so on, hmm? Takes a drink herself as she brushes by you. Don't want to fuck the bird. I 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 don't want to fuck the bird. Gonna fuck the bird. Smack myself in the face a little bit. It didn't sound like that. You understand? It didn't sound. Oh, sorry. Did it? Did it sound like? See, that doesn't sound like that either. I'm doing my best. Hold on, wait. No, it's too quiet. Well, that's me actually slapping my leg. It's not good. It's too far from the- anyway, let's go to the center road. Remember when you drank too much of this thing that was basically poison? And then got hit on by a bird lady? Yeah, she brusheth past you. She brusheth. You arrive on the outskirts of Cinder Root, but uh, once again the informant Sandalwood is nowhere to be found. What the shit, Sandalwood? You sense the hopes of uh, your companions waiting waning as you search uh, through the area. As your search through the area yields <laughs> nothing, I'm falling apart. Then something startles the little imp Tizo. <laughs> Tizo seems to be crying out in surprise. He has spotted something or someone. <laughs> oh! A tall figure strides forward from the trees, making a sound like laughter. <laughs> I love this song. Hmm. And then and leaps right into the figure's arm. They embrace. Well, I'm guessing this is sandalwood. Yep. You could have He's this sick. one. Okay. Hail, Tizo. But you look vanished here. The tall sap produces something that the imp swallows immediately and with great pleasure. It's a cookie. Uh, tree like creatures known for their ingenuity, cleverness, and ambition. Having allied with them, the Commonwealth achieved in uh, in decades what it could not have achieved in centuries. <laughs> the lone minstrel nods his head in affirmation. Everyone, I wish to introduce you to my client, Wolfred Sandalwood. And this theme is badass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, minstrel's yeah, yeah. client, Headwind's informant, and the leader of the Nightwing. No, that's me. No, I'm the leader. No, it has you're, been you're the reader. The leader and the reader. Similar. It has been too long, Wolfred, sir. Too long indeed, Tariq. I trust your new companions bring um, color to your day. They do, sir. I think that you shall find them worthy of the Nightwings. The sap looks upon the lot of you. You cannot sense his thoughts. We shall see. He turns to you. You must be the reader. I am certain that we all appreciate your efforts here, my girl. So we shall manage on our own from here on now. You're welcome to continue with us, of course, though you are free to go. I trust you have been adequately compensated for your time. Thanks as well for looking after all my books. You consider what to say to all of this. Wolfred intends to relieve you of your duties to the group. Insist on staying. Bid everyone farewell. Remain silent. You have assured you have been assured your freedom. You categorically refuse to be cast aside so Seriously. easily. The leader of the Nightwings has returned. You can tell when you are no longer wanted. This cannot be happening. To have come this far only to be brushed aside by some strange sap. I mean, nice. I'm the reader. You stand your ground meeting Wolfred's steady gaze and assert to him that you do not feel your uh, commitments to and from this group have yet been satisfied. Uh, hold on. Wolfred, sir, I'm Hedwin. My companions and I are the one who answered your call. We followed the signs that you left for us. 
Oscar Aquizarra Manta. Now we're here, thanks to you and also to this reader. Not just a reader, she... She's a friend. My friend. She's not disposable. We made oh, her a promise no. and our freedoms are now intertwined. There's police sirens in the background. I know, I heard them. They're coming that for me. Bad us, though. That's good. Well, hopefully we get that report. Wolfred smirks at this. Freedom's not something that to be traded or exchanged, my boy. I'd hope that you'd come that you'd have come to grasp this much by now. <sighs> he breathes a sigh. Seems we've started off on the wrong foot. It's not my wish to sour the occasion, for there's much to do. You have a right you need to go to. Do you not? I'll come along, though though shall not interfere. For it seems you have kinship with this reader of yours. Now then, Tariq? Aye, Wolfred, sir. Come, let's have a chat. Of course, sir. Wolfred strides towards the black wagon, which m must have belonged to him. You sense many conflicting emotions among your companions. Wolfred Sandalwood has joined you. He knows much of the rights. Okay. Welcome aboard. Sure. Yeah, I love that. First thing he does. Literal first thing. Oh, great. You're here. Cool. Uh, thank you. Uh, glad to have you. you. You can go now. You're free to go, I guess. Yeah, this the, the, the needlewood is pretty sick. <laughs> Your wagon cuts <laughs> through the clearing and you arrive at the Glade of Lou, where the stars directed you. Wolfred nods his approval, but leaves everyone to their devices. Alright, oh, you wanted right. to play? You wanted to be the coach? You're the coach. Oh. That's fine. Yes. Look. This big fucking pipe. The demon, in the words of Golgolathanian, the Master General. Emperor Mur. Scarcely could I recognize him when at last I found him. Are you Emperor Mur? <laughs> I forgot what you were doing. I was like. Yeah, I'm. 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 <laughs> I'm Golgolathanian, do you? <laughs> that is what he sounds like. Yeah. A half-starved animal, horns sprouted from his head, a bestial mirror of his blackened reputation. You look terrible. And I, a man who conquered countries, feared my emperor then in such a way as I had never known. Mm. <laughs> my charge had been to slay this man, but when I discovered him, he was already fighting for his life. I feel bad. The little imp Hau proved of a little help against the Sisters of Ark whose entire mm. lives were culminating in this instant. Mm. I was unable to watch. My heart ached with such pity for the man and for the love I felt you. for him when I had served him that I sprang to his defense. Uh, hang on, let's not kill this guy. Uh, so he spent he's, all he's that time looking for the guy to kill him and then was like, I'm not gonna kill him, he's my foe band. Yeah. Anyway, I look. have this guy named Haub. What's this guy's deal? As you approach Wilfred Sandalwood, you feel very much aware that you reside within his black wagon, rather than he in yours. He studies you in silence for a time, then... Tariq, if you have a moment... Aye, Wilfred, sir, what is it? This reader, you deem her worthy by your estimation? The little minstrel tilts his hat in your direction. If you wish my own estimation, Wilfred, sir, then I do. Of course, it is not entirely for me to say, but I have seen this reader integrating with the others as well. With the others well, sorry. That's fine. I believe that her achievements are self-evident in having reached Black Basin. Thank you. Your instructions were deliberately difficult to follow, yet she and the others followed them. Indeed. Your words make sense as ever, Tariq. And what does little Tizo think of her, I wonder? <laughs> Tizo indicates, as a matter of fact, he is happy to have the you around. The police are back, the police are back, the police are back. Oh god, they're mad, they're pissed. Duck, duck, under the desk. No, I will face them. <laughs> now I face them, I, 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 I reach out to the truth. See you, see you, a homo man, yeah. Did you say one a homo marrying you? What? The, the, was your lyric one a homo marrying you? Yep, that's exactly what I said. It sounded like it. If you play the video back, it sounds it, just I like it. I bet you it doesn't. 
But I'm it gonna does. find out when I edit it this later. It does. I'm right, you're wrong, now you have a big bruise. You have a history of mishearing thing. Wait, that's not even how it goes. <laughs> that is how it goes. I've heard that one correctly. No, uh... There you have it, sir. I see. He continues to examine you. Stop looking at me. High praise isn't off spoken by these two, my girl. Nonetheless, I shall be watching you. Now, pardon us, Tariq, as and now pardon us. Tariq and I have managed to discuss. Yeah, whatever, dude. We leave without another word. Although you think uh, you notice the low minstrel look uh, your way over his shoulder. Hey, can you tap Sir Gilman's crest a bunch? I'm just wondering if this is a thing. Nope. Weird. Nope. Hit the bell again? Hit the bell a bunch. The bell? My cat's screaming. I don't want to hit bell. the bell. Hit the bell a bunch. <laughs> hit the bell a bunch. What about <laughs> this candle? Oh. Don't do that! Don't do that! You blew out the- Oh, stop it. Stop blowing out the- Stop. Oh, you're just smacking the wood. Oh, stop it. Knock the hit the bell, hit the bell a bunch, 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 hit the bell a bunch. I wanna see Hit the bell a bunch. So gross. Why are the drive ems like this? I don't know. Hit the bell a bunch. Head when I'm hungry. Nothing. Oh, okay. I guess maybe it only happens sometimes, but still. You still don't know why she was in prison. It's that one. Jodario casts her aura father and faster than usual. 15%. Okay. The moon talisman. Okay. I like that one better. Bye. Okay. Let's go to the Hey, it's me, Ron John Silver. Oh, hey, you guys, you know, I guess I didn't get the word out, but my new franchise, which we opened here just now, so give you a great deal, just tell your friends, okay? Oh, and hey there, Mr. Sandalwood. Good day to you as well, Ron. Ooh, what's See, that? I really like Sandalwood's introduction because he instantly comes in and you recognize that he has far more stake in this than you do. It's like, well, I was riding in his wagon with his crew that he decided, funded, and did all the work for. And it's like, ugh. And everyone seems to like him, so. Uh -huh. Whoops. This one's really good. <laughs> what else can you get? Yeah, sell his bark. I don't think you need it for anything. I think you can actually sell it. Um. Ah, uh, yeah, no, some Stardust. You ever watched the, the movie Stardust? No. It's alright. I don't know what that it's is. It's basically about a star girl. It's and her dust? Yeah, there is seven of them. Is is dust her semblance? Uh, no. I'm no kind of, she is a star in that way. Not like, wow, girl, you're a star, but like... You know what I mean? Yeah, sure, man. Like, she's a literal star. It's like she wished to be the Dreamstone. Oh. I wish to become you, the dream zone itself, is what you're trying to tell this me. This isn't this is an obscure Wonder Woman '88 reference. Which 84, is come on, That's get it 84? right. What I say? I said 48. You said 88. What did she do for 80 right? years? 70 years? Uh, apparently, she only years. thought about Steve. Mm. Can you imagine dating a person mm. for a month and then being an immortal and only thinking about them and never taking another lover? No. That sucks. Um... Do you think if you broke up with your current, right now, super real, not made up girlfriend... I don't like that uh, you specified it that much, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're very real, in real life. I forgot the hypothetical because I found this very amusing. Just be like, super, super real. You take her to family gathering. She's real. They ask about her all the time. They like her. She's good at the piano. Uh, sure. We'll go with that. 
I'm gonna do this one. I don't remember what I was gonna ask you. I don't know. Oh yeah, if you broke up with your no, I don't know. I just I, I started the hypothetical and I don't have it. If I, I don't know. I was trying to help you getting back in the right direction, but I got nothing. It's not happening. Must be a lucky day here. Oh, I don't know what, Dad. Is his dad the thing he's sitting on? I assume so, yeah. Weird. Or is the slug he's holding in his hand? That's worse.